Irene Crump and Phyllis Jones, celebrate their 100th birthdays with cards from the Queen and a pub visit. The non-identical pair were born 25 minutes apart and put their longevity down to hard work and good food. The twins, both widows, have lived together in Stourport, Works, for five years. They marked the day with a roast to their local with 48 friends and family. Irene, the younger of the two, said, We often celebrate our special birthdays together, and we had a lovely day. We celebrated our 90th together, and last year we celebrated our 99th birthday too. Hard work and good food is our secret, that's all I can put it down to. The twins have each other's first name for their middle name and say they have always been close. The pair can't remember how much they weighed when they were born, but Irene, or Auntie Renee as she's affectionately known, says she's always been plump. She said, I've always been heavier. I'm not fat, more plump, but Phyllis is the thin one. I was a farmer's wife. The twins had an elder sister, Dorothy who died in 2006, aged 92. Both Irene and Phyllis married, Irene's husband Samuel died in 1999 and lived well into his 90s, and Phyllis' husband, Ray Jones, died aged 91 in 2006. Although Irene never had any children, Phyllis' only son, Carl Jones, helps care for them both, especially now Phyllis has vascular dementia. Cal, 58 said, my wife Patricia and I are here every day, and we phone them at least once. They live independently and they're doing great, and if there's an emergency they'll ring me. They get on well, but they do have their moments, but that's going to happen whether they're 100 or 20. Cal, who's now retired, added, mum and auntie Renee, as most people call her, have always lived a few miles apart, and now they live together. They're totally different though, Auntie Renee has always been very methodical and careful, but Mum always races around doing things. The pair are thought to be one of just six sets or centenarian twins in the UK, and go out for lunch most Fridays at the Lunchford Inn, where they celebrated their birthdays. They didn't ask for presents to mark their special day, instead requesting donations for the air ambulance. Irene said, we didn't want presents, we just wanted donations. We haven't got all the money in yet but we think we've done pretty well, it's a cause close to our heart.